far as this new law is concerned, as you said, we've had nothing but support from the law enforcement perspective. Not so today down in Tucson, where Pima County's top cop says not only doesn't he like this new law, he won't support it, and he went as far as to call it a racist law. Pima County Sheriff Clarence Dupnick pulled no punches in Tucson today, speaking out against Senate Bill 1070. I think the law, as I have said, is uh, unwise, it's stupid, and it's racist. Strong words from Southern Arizona, but his Maricopa County counterpart, along with eight other sheriffs in our state, support the bill. I hate to say it's politics, but when you look at it, it's all the Democrats, including the sheriff down there that supports the uh, Democrat Attorney General. Almost 80% of Arizonans live along the I-10 corridor of sorts in Maricopa, Pima, and Pinal counties. So we asked each jurisdiction's top cop for their take on the new law. Pinal County Sheriff Paul Babu supports the bill, but told us his deputies are sworn to protect and defend the public, and they'll continue to work hard to maintain that trust. We will not tolerate racial profiling. That's not who we are. This is America. We respect not only our Constitution, but Fourth Amendment. We are, we are the safeguarders of this process as well. That process back in Pima County will likely continue as it has in the past, with deputies handing over illegal immigrants to the Border Patrol. If any citizen thinks that you're not enforcing the law, they can sue you. And we already are in a position to get sued, and I know they have uh, sued uh, sheriffs in other parts of the state uh, for profiling. So we're damned if we do, and we're damned if we don't. That sums it up, the position of Sheriff Clarence Dubnik. He told the media that his department did not ask the state legislators to give them this so-called tool, as they've put it, to crack down on illegal immigration in southern Arizona. And as he said, he feels if they enforce the law or if they don't enforce the law, either way, they could be facing lawsuits. So don't expect the sheriff down in Tucson to be complying with this new law anytime soon. Reporting from downtown Phoenix, I'm Dan Spindle, Fox 10 News.